Hey guys, it's Keezy here today, and today we will be taking a look at the full line of the new Shadow High Series 2 dolls. So yes, you heard me correctly. We'll be looking at taking a look at the entire line today. I didn't want to separate out the reviews just because I'm a lazy person. <laughs> and what I didn't want to happen is that the same thing happened with Monster High G3. I got to the end of doing the reviews. It was just taking too long for me to get to all of the reviews. So I ended up just not doing some of them. And the restyles, for anybody who cares, <laughs> the restyles will come in separate videos. I'm actually gonna do a little bit of a buddy system. So whatever two characters are on the back of the box, we'll be getting a restyle together. So that will be really, really fun. So if you're here for the restyles, make sure to stay tuned. So because today is going to be a long one, I will make sure to put timestamps down below on the timeline so that you can check the dolls that you want to see. So the first doll that we will be taking a look at today is Zooey or Zoe Electra. This is definitely one of the fan favorites. I think a lot of people like this doll. So we're going to go over her first today. So I'm going to kind of give you an overview of her box and I may go over each box, I may not. They're all pretty much the same, just with different artworks, but I'll do my best to make this review as detailed as possible. First off, we have, again, Zoe Electra. So you can see that the box style for this series is a little bit different. It's kind of like the costume ball doll packaging, just without the flap. So you do have this open window, kind of this open single window of the doll. You can also see the accessories here on this side and some really beautiful artwork on the left side of the box here. The artwork on the very front here is holographic. So you can see a nice little picture of, the, of Zoe here. And then in, on the back carton, it also has that exact same design in black. So if you line it up, it kind of gives this 3D effect, which is really, really cute. I honestly really love the box design for this series. I think that they did really, really good. And I like a lot of other collectors were saying, if you're an inbox collector, this will definitely look really, really good on your shelves. But I'm not an inbox collector, so I will be removing all of the dolls from the boxes today. Of course, you can see at the very top here, it says in a very holographic print, let your true color shine at the very top here. You can see that this says Zoe Electra here or Zoe, whichever one you prefer. The insignia here doesn't say Series 2. I know there was a bit of controversy about what type of line these dolls were. Were they Series 2? Were they a runway line? But honestly, in my opinion, I think they're kind of a mesh of the both, like of both of those. But anyways, on the side here, you can see another kind of holographic Shadow High emblem right here. Of course, on the bottom, it says the Rainbow High YouTube channel and then has your choking hazards, tells you about the sets and ensembles and everything. So I won't go over this 101 times because we are looking at six dolls today. But of course, it does say Zooey. And then it also has that she is a fashion design focus. And all of the dolls in this line are our fashion design focuses. You can also see, which I don't think that we've gotten before, it actually lists what the doll comes with. And yeah, it says it in a couple of different languages. You can also meet the students here by using this little QR code. I won't be doing that today because I don't think that the official artwork for these dolls have been released online yet. On the back here, of course, you can see again, it says Shadow High, and then it has a group picture of Zooey and Diamante. And yeah, I, I always love the Rainbow High artwork. I think it's always done super duper well. One of you guys said that the artwork is actually done by Darko Dark or Dark Darko. Uh, I can't remember how his name goes right now. The full back of the box has a nice little holographic shift kind of other, other than the artwork here. And then it does have this read up here, which I will read for you. It says, fashion doesn't have to follow the rules and neither does Shadow High. Watch out Rainbow High, we're coming for the runway. And then this is an international box. So it has that read up in a couple of different languages. That is the overview of the box. And of course, on this side, it's just like a plain glitch thing. I think the box, again, is super duper beautiful. And yeah, I, I really think that if they are going to give us just one outfit, then this is the perfect box design for that because it doesn't take up too much space and it honestly looks really good. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get Zooey out of the box. 
So of course she comes with this light blue stand. It also has the waist clip here. It's the standard rainbow high slash shadow high stand. Of course it has the little studs around the base which kind of differentiates it from the rainbow high stand. It does have what looks like some blue embedded glitter. It's just a stand, nothing too crazy about it. She also comes with a blue comb which is the shadow high comb. Has a little SH there and then the studs running across the top. I never use these on my dolls because yeah they're they're honestly pretty pointless. <laughs> Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls have such thick hair you really can't use this and it make a difference. <laughs> so in place of the second outfit these dolls come with little accessories and I'll let you guys decide in the comments down below do you think that these accessories are a good trade out for a second outfit. I'll let you guys let me know in the comments down below. But there is this little laptop, it is a light blue. It does have two stickers on the outside that has like a moon and a star. That little cat and some wings and it says commander there. The bottom is pretty clear actually. On the inside, it actually has what looks like what could be Photoshop, and it looks like she's actually Photoshopping a picture, which is super duper cool, and it's super duper detailed as well. I love the inclusion of that. Of course, the inside is silver, and you can see the little buttons there that she can do the typing and the little trackpad. Next, we'll take a look at her Shadow High phone. So it does have a little Novi Stars logo on the very front of it. On the back, you can kind of see some moons, some SHs, and a little bit of stars. The phone does have four cameras, and it is in this little case that is removable. Without the case, the phone is pretty plain, but it is kind of like a silver color, again, with the four cameras. The case is removable and does have a little thumb hole so that she can hold her phone. This is the exact same mold that came with the Paris Hilton doll, so I really like the inclusion of these phones. I think that it was way long overdue, especially because Rainbow High and Shadow High is largely based on like technology and things like that. Zoe also comes with this little thermos, so it does say shadow on their very front, and then it says sassy in the font that the NASA logo would be. It does have a little hook here on the side though, so that she can hold it, and it is kind of like a light blue, blue, light green color. The cap does seem like it comes off. It doesn't come off pretty easily. I mean, it spins, but I don't, I'm not sure if it actually comes off. Well, it spins around. If it does come off, it's kind of hard for it to come off, so I'm not gonna try to force it. But yes, this is a really cute piece that she comes with as well. And I almost forgot to show you, they do include the Shadow High hangers. So you do get a matching hanger and pant hanger for this as well. And I think it's really weird that they started to include these in the boxes again, especially because they decided to remove the second outfit. It kind of feels like a little bit of a sting, like, hey, this is what the second outfit would have gone on. <laughs> but hey, they included it. So if you ever want to put any other clothes on these hangers, you absolutely could. And moving on to her first outfit items, well, her only outfit items. <laughs> so the outfit that she's wearing in the box. So she comes with these two silver earrings. I want to say that this is some type of like science contraption, but they're really, really cute. They are not electroplated, but they do have a very metallic paint on them. They say a word right here. I want to say that is, oh, it says shadow high there. And it says that on each earring. And yeah, they're this weird shape. Again, I know this is like some type of scientific item, but I'm not 100% sure what it is so yeah they're really cute next we'll take a look at her shoes so they are this wedge kind of heel they have this super interesting lasered design on the heel of the shoe also the piece that holds in her foot is a little bit of a teal the super interesting part about this heel is that it is actually a uh, plug on each side so it is a plug that's tied into a bow it's made of this really really metallic string and it continues onto each shoe while we're looking at the shoes we can take a look at her socks they are like these regular tube socks that are kind of like a metallic uh, holographic shift to them and now we'll take a look at the jacket that Zoe comes with so she comes with this really thick puffer jacket it almost looks like it's supposed to be an astronaut jacket it is lined on the very inside here and then you can see a really large shadow high tag it is super well designed it feels really really good quality of course it does have a couple of patches on it so it has again that kind of moon and star triangle sign it says 22 I'm assuming for 2022 
And then it also has that same patch that was on the back of the laptop. So that cat with the wings that says Commander. It also has some holographic strips of fabric here. And one, another one, another logo that we already saw, which is the sassy and that NASA kind of font. And then it, we also have another patch here that says Shadow. That is again, like the NASA logo. On the back here, it says Shadow. And yeah, it kind of looks like the Adidas sign in a triangle. It also has these little pull tabs here on the very back. They're here on the back side and on the front. They do actually function, which is crazy. I don't know if these function. Huh. So I wouldn't say that those function because that just broke off, so. <laughs> and it's same thing on this side. So it has that holographic strip of fabric and then it says shadow right here. And then it also has a Novi Stars logo on the side. And again, another patch on the pockets here, it says shadow, and then another one that says eclipse. So it has four pockets here on the very front, and then also has this red zipper pull here as well. I really, really like this piece. It doesn't actually zip, which I think would be a really, really good touch if they had have added that. But overall, it definitely goes with that really nice space theme that she has going on. All right, and the next piece that we'll take a look at is Zoe's t-shirt. So it is a plain white kind of crop top. It has a big Novi Stars logo on the very front. This is the same logo that is on the front of her cell phone. Of course, it's just screen printed on, but it feels really, really thick and like it's really, really good quality. And the back is just plain. So yeah, it's a really, really cute t-shirt that I feel like you could put on any of your dolls. And last but not least for Zoe's outfit, she comes with this blue leather skirt. It does have some kind of snaps on the front. It's about six of them. It feels like a really, really nice leather. It doesn't feel like that leather that would peel. It does kind of have some straps here. It kind of gives me the feel of like a motorcycle maybe skirt. Of course, it does have the tied in underwear and it's just plain on the back but this does feel like really, really good quality. And I like this little slits in the front and the kind of the front is a little bit shorter. I think it definitely makes the piece a lot more interesting, but yes, it's just a nice little biker skirt. All right, and now we'll take a look at Zoe's screening. So Zoe has some kind of blackish gray eyebrows. They're very thick and very straight. She also has some blue eyeshadow that's kind of in the crease. She also has this white graphic liner here. On, on the lid, she has a little bit of glitter. What I love about this doll, and I think what a lot of people are gonna like, is this super duper sharp cat eye eyeliner that kind of extends into the outer corner. It is lined with a little bit of white on the bottom here. And then for the under eye, it does have some pink. Her eyelashes are really, really sharp and really, really cute. Also, her lips are kind of a light pink. You can kind of see where they line the inside of her lip. She also has these little white dots here, I guess to kind of, I don't know if this is like a Novi Stars thing, but yeah, it kind of gives that alien look. And also we can move on to her hair. So she does have some nice little painted on baby hairs here. I don't know if this sculpt is a new one. Well, it does say 2023 MGA, so it has to be a new sculpt. We'll also take a look at her nails. So she just has the standard shadow high nails. They are painted with a little bit of teal, but they're nothing special. She doesn't have any molded on rings or anything like that. So she has three little Bantu knots here. The hair is rooted to have the Bantu knots, which I think is really, really nice. It'll give you a lot of different parting options. So you could either part it on this side or this side, but we'll see if I do that in the restyle. <laughs> and the hair is just flows down into the back. You can also see a little bit of tinsel throughout her hair. It feels like this will be really, really soft when it's washed out. It does have a little bit of product at the bottom, but it's not anything too, too crazy. So that is Zoe. And tell me what you guys think of her down below. Is she one of your favorites? But without further ado, let's move on to the next doll. All right, and next we'll take a look at Diamante. So the box is the exact same as Zoe Electra, but of course you can see Diamante's logo right here. And again, if you line it up, it does look like it's holographic. On the back of the box, it is the exact same picture as on Zooey's. So is a picture of Zooey and Diamante. And yeah, that's all I'm gonna go over about that. Let's go ahead and get her outside of the box. 
So Dia's stand is kind of like this plain silver stand. Of course, it has the telescoping portion, the clip, and it does have the studs around the base of the stand. Dia also includes the same pants hanger and coat hanger that has the shadow high emblem on it and then also has the sh on the pants hanger and she does also come with a comb which is your standard shadow high comb with the studs the other accessories that she comes with is these cat eye pair of sunglasses i want to say this is the exact same sunglass shape that we got with harper dune it does have a little rainbow shadow high kind of monogram on the very front it does not continue onto the arms of the glasses but you can see that little horse and wings which i'm again pretty sure came on harper dune as well but yes i really really like these i honestly want these glasses for myself so i'm sure i could find the design version but they're probably like five hundred dollars <laughs> dia also comes with a little cup so it also has that kind of rainbow shadow high uh, monogram on here it's definitely supposed to mimic the gucci logo so it also has a little handle here so that she can hold it it does have a clear cap on it with a straw it is not removable or anything Dia also comes with a shadow high makeup palette. It is black and it does have the little caps on the ends here that are in silver. The back is plain. It does open up and it does have a little, little bit of what you can see of a working mirror. And then it also has all the shades here as well. And of course, you can't have a makeup palette without some makeup brushes. So she comes with kind of like a bigger makeup brush and two smaller ones. They are in white and silver. I feel like they have something engraved here on the very tip of that, but I can't see what it is. But yeah, you can't have a makeup palette without makeup brushes, right? So she comes with these two studded earrings. They are silver with some black writing on it that say shadow kind of in a circle. And, and they are actually clear in the middle. And they're really, really cute and really simple. We'll also take a look at Dia's boots. So they are these black and silver boots. They are definitely Prada inspired. It does have like a little silver loop here. These are removable from the boot via this little clip here in the back that you can take out you can slide that out of there and then though that piece comes off here it's really really cute and i love that detail this is molded so well you can see the zipper on the little pack here you can also see that the buckle is painted as well even the stitching on this is painted which is so wild but this is what mga is known for doing the boots do also have some black laces and you can see that the aglets are painted silver you you can also see the stitching throughout the boots. On the back, they have a little pull tab here. The, they are like a platform boot, so they do have this really thick, chunky tread on the very bottom. And of course, again, it's molded really, really well. Looks exactly like a real shoe, as does all MGA pieces. Next, we'll take a look at Dia's jacket. So it is another puffer jacket. So it is this big, thick, white puffer jacket. On the outside, it has that holographic shadow high monogram again, again to mimic Gucci. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but Dia's full outfit is actually inspired by a Rihanna look that she wore to Coachella. And yeah, they got it basically down to the T. <laughs> so this is mimicked after a Gucci jacket. This jacket is done so well. You can literally see all the stitching throughout. It does have a hood here that is darted so that it keeps its shape, which is wild to me. It also does have two oversized pockets on the very front, and it does have little silver studs, and these are working pockets, it looks like. Yeah, so they are working pockets, and it, it even has the little clasps here, like I said. It is lined on the inside with a silver lining, and it even has a Shadow High logo. And of course, the hood is lined as well. This piece is super duper thick. It feels literally just like a human piece would, which is so crazy. I really love the quality of these Rainbow High dolls. Dia also comes with a pair of holographic shorts. They are pretty self-explanatory and pretty straight to the point. They do have real working belt loops and you can see that little silver brad here to mimic the buttons of the shorts. They also have the fabric of the pockets here hanging out because you know, that's part of the look. The pockets on this are actually not functional, which is a little weird because you know, why would you include this part and not make 
working pockets but the jacket is so high quality we will look past this you know mess up here <laughs> but they are still pretty thick filling they feel like a good quality and they'll probably be really really good for restyling as well all right and dia also comes with two different bodysuits on but we'll take a look at the white one on the outside first so it's just this plain white bodysuit that velcros in the back it does say here on the very front shadow and then sh and that is supposed to mimic the gucci logo which i think it does really really well now we'll take off this bodysuit so we can take a look at the one under it so dia is actually wearing a full kind of diamond fishnet bodysuit it catches the light really, really really well and it looks like the glitter is applied placing dots throughout the bodysuit it is actually a long sleeve but it was kind of pushed up in the box I can't wait to do restyles with this piece because I think that it will go really really well with a lot of different things it doesn't go down all the way to the feet which I don't mind because what I've experienced in the past with fishnets that go down to the feet is that when you put on the shoes you actually end up ripping the fishnet so I'm glad that they didn't make it a full bodysuit but it does have a high neckline as well because again this is supposed to mimic an actual piece worn by Rihanna and that's what it did and yeah I think this is really really cute and again I can't wait to see what people will do with this piece next let's take a look at dia's screening so she does have some makeup here she has like what looks like a little bit of gray in the crease on the lid it looks like either a white or silver color here that has a little bit of gr glitter it looks like micro glitter her eyeliner is a kind of straight kind of cat eye look for her eyes, they are kind of like this blue to purple shift. For her eyebrows, they're kind of hard to show you because her bangs are literal rocks, but she does have some black gradient eyebrows that are really, really pretty. And of course she has her uh, applied lashes, which is really nice. She does have a little bit of gel on the side of her face from her hair, which is super duper crunchy and <laughs> super duper gelled, but we'll get to that in a second. She also does have this purple lip here, and it looks like her nose is a completely different shape from what we've ever seen. So it does say 2023 MGA on there, so this is definitely a new sculpt. Moving on to her hair, so it is kind of almost exactly like um, Margot from Pacific Coast. So it, it kind of mimics Margot's hair and it also really mimics Roxy Grant's hair as well. So it's that white kind of mix of pearlescent colors. It does have a little bit of tinsel throughout. And fun fact, Dia is actually the first Rainbow High doll to have short hair. So I cannot wait to style this and see what I can come up with. But it is gel to the gods. Like her hair is, you can see how thick and gelled her bangs are. They're almost impossible to get off of her face. <laughs> but um, they're cut cut very bluntly, which is nice. And yeah, it's just a full bob here. Also, we'll take a look at Dia's nails. So again, she has the standard shadow high nails, but they are in a silver color and it actually feels like they have a little bit of glitter on them as well. I wonder if the molded on rings is something that they're only gonna do for special edition dolls. Who knows, but we'll see. This is Diamante. Now that we've taken a look at her, let's look at the next doll. All right, guys, so now let's take a look at Monique Verbena. It does have her name here at the very top, so Monique Verbena. Mine is kind of scratched at the very top here. I don't know why, but exact same box as everyone else. You can see her artwork right here, and then a black print of that same artwork on the very back carton. And then it has a picture of Carla and Monique here together. And of course, it's very beautiful as usual. So now that we've taken a look at what she looks like inside of this box, let's get her out of her box prison. Like all of the dolls do, she comes with the coat hanger and the pant hanger. They both say shadow high on them. She also comes with a purple stand. It does have some purple and bladed glitter in there. Of course, you have your telescoping portion and your waist clip as well. Monique also comes with a beautiful shadow high comb. You can definitely use these on her braids. They won't snag or anything. It's the best thing that you could ever do. Yeah, probably not. 
For her additional set accessories, Monique comes with this nice little makeup palette here that has kind of that faux Versace logo on the very front and some kind of molded on studs and brads. It does open up to reveal what looks like a little bit of some highlighter. Of course, it does have a mirror on the outside as well and you can see the shades there. And again, of course, you can't have a makeup palette without some makeup brushes. So she does come with three makeup brushes. These are the same mold, of course, that came with all of the Rainbow Divas and all the dolls from this line as well. Again, I think this is a cute little inclusion, especially if you like to photograph your dolls or even just pose them on display. I didn't realize this, but Diamante actually doesn't come with the phone, but Monique does. Of course, you can see she's getting a call from Team Anti-Sparkle, and it looks literally just like any iPhone would. Of course, the case has this little snake dragon on the very back. You can see the four cameras for her iPhone. And of course, just like all the cell phones that Rainbow High does, it seems like, or Shadow High does, it does remove from the case, and it does have a little thumb hole here for you to hold the phone. It does seem like the phones are different colors because hers kind of has this kind of purplish pink tint to it. And I don't know if I mentioned that the case has some silver embedded glitter in it as well. Monique also comes with a lipstick tube here. It doesn't exactly match the shade that she's wearing, but it does have a removable cap here. And it also has some silver painted details on it. And the cap is clear. So Monique comes with two pairs of hoop earrings. They are silver and they have a little purple flower that has some white and silver details on it. I wanna know if I believe what people are saying that this is the verbena flower because verbena actually is a flower. So I think this is really, really clever that they did this. It's a very nice touch. And I love when they throw out little nuggets like that. We'll also take a look at Monique's shoes. So they are these platform open-toed heels. They have two different straps on here. You can see that this top strap has a couple of studs here. I don't know that they're painted very well. I don't know if they're supposed to be looking like that, but yeah. They also have this little dragon here on the toe as well. It also has this little bit of a gem here. Everything is painted in silver with, I guess, what's supposed to be like a purple accents as well. It does have a little bit of a pyramid heel on the very back here, and the platforms are black. Monique also includes a necklace, so it is this silver kind of chain necklace. It kind of meets in the middle with these two dragons here again. Uh, I saw somebody online say what type of dragons these are, but I'm not 100% sure. Please let me know in the comments down below if you know. But it also has, just like her shoe, has a little bit of a purple gem in the very middle, and there is kind of like some studs or maybe diamonds molded around it. I really like, again, the molding of this piece, and it was rubber banded to her neck, because I do feel like with this big opening in the back, it probably won't stay on very well. But yes, this the molding of this is definitely very beautiful. Monique also has this waist belt here. It's fully studded around the waistband, but on the very front, you can see that it has some more gems in the shape of a circle and another purple jewel in the very middle. And this is a very, very thick piece. I would just say be careful putting this on the doll because, you know, these accessories could snap. All right, and moving on to the main attraction, which is Monique's dress. So she has this beautiful layered organza dress. It's a mix of purples and whites and this iridescent fabric here that kind of has a green shift. It is super duper layered and it holds its shape really, really well. It feels like it's super duper good quality as well, so I love that. It does Velcro in the back and it does have a spot for the belt to go as coarse. Let's see if it's lined on the inside. So it isn't lined on the inside, but again, it doesn't have to be. This is play line. And yeah, I think that it does go really, really well. Of course, it does have some holes for her arm here. I really, really love this piece and I'm excited to see what it looks like on other dolls. Next, we'll take a look at Monique's face up. So she has some black, really thick, straight eyebrows. For her eye makeup, she has this kind of black in the crease. I don't know if that's graphic liner or it's just like a really thick um, crease color. But on the lid, she has some white glitter. 
on the very top lid, her black eyeliner is super duper thick and is in a cat eye shape. It does kind of go to the bottom here as well. So she does have some black liner on the outer edge and then some on the inner edge as well. She also has some white liner on the very bottom to kind of, I guess, make her eyes look a little bit bigger. She does have less lashes than most Rainbow High dolls. So she has three little sharp eyelashes here. Of course, she has her apply lashes as usual. I can't really see any blush on camera, so it doesn't look like she's blushed, but she does have purple lips here as well. And then we can also take a look at her head sculpt. So she does have some painted on baby hairs here that kind of match the colors of her braids. On the back, you can see that this is a 2023 sculpt, so this is a brand new sculpt in some way. I'm not really sure though, but if you know, let me know in the comments down below. She also has these purple and blue eyes. I feel like these are the standard rainbow high purple eyes, so nothing different here. And we'll also take a look at Monique's hair. So she has braids, of course. She has these really nice long braids. They are actually wrapped with some hair around the base, which I love. It's actually done pretty well, I would definitely say. Her braids are a mix of purple, a little bit of blue, some black. It's really, really beautifully mixed and it's very beautifully rooted. Of course, you can see it's rooted all the way down to the back here. And yeah, she is actually the second Rainbow High slash Shadow High doll to have braids, which honestly, in my opinion, is a problem. But you know, that's a video for another day. I'm glad that we got this. And yeah, honestly, her hair probably won't need very much restyling. And last but not least, we'll take a look at Monique's hand. So she does have the standard shadow high nails, so little really short pointy ones. Also a part of her outfit, she has two different gloves here. So she has two different purple leather gloves. They both have an SH on each one, and it also is applied kind of like, um, it is raised. I don't know what they did to apply this onto the glove, but it seems like it'll stick on pretty well, so you don't have to worry about that falling off. But now that we've taken a look at Monique, we have three more dolls to go. We'll take a look at the next doll. All right, guys, so now let's take a look at Miss Carla Choupette. So, of course, again, you can see that it says her name right there at the top in a holographic print. She is a fashion design focus. And then on the back, again, it has this same picture of Carla and Monique here together on the back of the box. And now that we've taken a look at the box yet again, <laughs> let's go ahead and get her out of the box. So she, of course, comes with a stand as all Rainbow High and Shadow High dolls do. Hers is kind of a light pink. Of course, it comes with the telescoping part, the waist clip, and then the stand base with the little studs around the edge. It does have some pink embedded glitter on the inside of the stand. Carla also comes with a Shadow High comb that is the exact same as all the other combs. It has some pink embedded glitter in there with the studs running across the top. Carla's hangers are a very, very light pink, and of course they say shadow, and the pants hanger also has the little SH logo right there. A very interesting thing that Carla comes with, which is a fan. The last time we got a fan was of course with Lily Chang, so it is this black fan that is made out of like a satin material. It does have a screen printed kind of silver shadow logo on the very front. It is actually functional, so you can fan it in and fan it out or accordion it in and accordion it out. On the back, it is just plain, of course, because it has to have the mechanism so that you can use the fan. It does have a little black tassel here on the very bottom. Pretty sure that this is the exact same tassel that we got with Lily, but I could be wrong about that. But I love the inclusion of this fan. I'm really interested to see how um, it'll go with her character in the show. As pretty much all the dolls do in this line, Carla also comes with a phone here. It is actually pulled up to the Rainbow High YouTube channel. So maybe she's betraying Shadow High by watching YouTube videos of Rainbow High, who knows? <laughs> but the back also has this black and pink design. They are SHs, but they are positioned in a way that it looks like houndstooth. 
Of course, you can see on the back, it also has the four cameras as well. It does have a thumb hole that, so that she can hold the phone and the phone case does separate from the actual phone itself. I wanna say that this phone is the exact same color as Monique's, it's kinda of like a light pink and you can snap it right back in just like that. Carla also comes with this white eyeshadow palette here. On the very front, it has a shiny silver shadow high logo. You can open it up here. Of course, you can see a mirror. And then it just has an array of shades here. What I found is interesting is that these colors are actually different or at least arranged differently than uh, Dia's palette. So just little details that MGA gives, up that gives us that they absolutely don't have to. But yes, these shades are actually different, which is funny. And just like Monique did, she also comes with these three makeup brushes and of course a little bit of a lipstick right here that you can pull off the cap. This shade does does match Carla a little bit better than Monique did. Right, so Carla also comes with these two earrings. One is an S and one is an H. And it also has this little shadow high written on the side of it, which is a super crazy detail. Again, they aren't electroplated or anything, but they are like a little silver kind of paint on them. This left earring has two little dangling chains here. They actually vary in size and you can see they hook on there so that they can dangle. On the right earring, it also has another chain here that has an attached pearl that also dangles as well. I think that these are really, really cool and they're definitely a new mold. And next we'll take a look at Carla's boots. They look like shoes with boot covers, but they're actually all one piece. They are definitely supposed to mimic pants because you can kind of see this working belt loop right here. They do have this silver belt on both boot and it does flow down into this little cover here that has a zipper on here with a molded on SH right there and you can kind of see the, the track of the zipper. If you lift this up a little bit, you can see that it's just like a regular boot underneath with a silver platform here and also a heel that kind of has like a, a upside down pyramid shape. On the back, they're just plain and they're made out of this really, really nice, what feels like pretty good leather material. Well, now moving on to Carla's clothing pieces. So she comes with this light pink dress. It kind of has some folded down, almost like a collar detail right here with some silver studs. It also has an S belt, which is removable. So you can actually use this on other dolls because it is a separate piece. It does have a little bit of some thread running down it. I don't know if it's actually thread or if it's something that they've applied with some glitter, but it does kind of have a green shift to it. It does have some pockets here that are working pockets, which is amazing. And the S, I don't know if you can kind of tell, has a little bit of a pearl look to it as well. And it does have some more sil silver studs running down the front. Of course, the belt holes are actually functional as well. And it's kind of plain on the back, which is fine for this particular piece. And now let's take a look at Carla's shirt. So she has this white button down shirt. It does have some puff sleeves on each shoulder, of course. It just puffs down and then just kind of fits on the arm here. Of course, it does have an arm cuff here with a little silver brad right there to mimic a button. It does have a tie attached to it as well, so it is not a separate piece, but it's just a black tie that kind of feels a little bit like satin. It is double faced, so it's almost constructed like a real tie would be. You can also see this little pendant right here that says Shadow High. It's like a little circle with the chain. The shirt is cropped so that under the dress it doesn't look super duper bulky and the tie is pretty short as well. Again, just to kind of reduce the bulk, which I'm glad that they did. There's not really too many details on the back other than this darting, which I think is really nice because it's going to make the shirt fit a lot better under that dress. So now that we've taken a look at Carla's outfit, let's take a look at her makeup look. So Carla has these really thick ombre eyebrows. They actually go from white to pink on the very ends. On her crease, she has a little bit of pink and then a little bit of gray below that. 
and you can see a little bit of white graphic liner there with some glitter applied on the top of it. She has this pink line right above her black Kai Eye eyeliner. You can actually see the pink continues a little bit under as well. I'm not sure if that was an intentional or not. And then on her bottom eye, she does have a little bit of gray with some pink underneath it as well. You can see on the bottom, she has some black eyelashes and they're the really long, really sharp ones. For her actual eyelashes, they're bringing back the white eyelashes again. I've seen a lot of people say that she could be albino like Delilah, but that has yet to be confirmed. I think she may be, she could not be. <laughs> they, again, Rainbow High hasn't confirmed whether or not she is or not, but I feel like she probably just has white light lashes to me, but it's hard to tell with Shadow High since they do have those kind of unnatural skin tones, but it is what it is. She also has some pink blush that is applied on each cheek, and then you can also see she has a pink glossy lip here as well. This is definitely a brand new face mold because you can see that she has that kind of pinched nose. I'm pretty sure this is not the exact same nose as Paris Hilton because Paris Hilton had a very defined bridge, which I don't see here. But you can tell this is a brand new sculpt because on the back it does say 2023 MGA. And last but not least, we, we can take a look at Carla's hands. So again, she has the standard shadow high nails, so the little pointy stiletto nails. And for gloves, she actually has these two white pleather gloves with embroidered SHs on each one. Again, these are super duper high quality, but I try not to take these off my dolls because they are definitely hard to get back on. And for Carla's hair, she has this high ponytail, so she has a little bit of a bang pulled to the side right here. And the front half of her hair is pulled up into a high ponytail. It actually does have a little bit of hair wrapped around the ponytail, which we love, but I always redo that anyways. <laughs> On the back, her hair is just pretty much a simple blend of just looks like light pink and maybe a little bit of white. The hair feels like it'll be really, really soft. It does have a little bit of gel on the ends just to kind of hold the curl. It's not as bad as we've seen before, but it's still not necessary. <laughs> so of course, I can't wait to wash this out and see how the hair feels. But yeah, she's definitely giving a little bit of Ariana Grande. But now that we've taken a look at Carla, let's go ahead and look at the next doll. All right, so next we're gonna take a look at Rex McQueen, our second Shadow High boy in the Shadow High universe. So you can see at the very top, it says Rex McQueen. You can see his holographic and black line work here on the front of the box. On the side, of course, you can see he is a fashion de design focus. On the back of the box, it is this very beautiful artwork of Reyna and also Rex here. And yeah, maybe they'll have something going on in the, in the webisodes. That's been yet to be determined. But yes, now that we've taken a look at his box, let's go ahead and get him out of here. So he comes with this updated boy stand. So it is black with some silver and blue embedded glitter. The clip is actually now different. It is bigger than the girl's clips, but it's not that big kind of square clip that he originally came with. Rex also includes a shadow high pant hanger and a shadow high coat hanger as well. And of course, he comes with this black comb with some silver embedded glitter that is really going to help keep his flocking nice and neat. I I'm totally joking here. This comb is, is useless for him. <laughs> Rex also comes with a laptop. It has this shadow sticker on the very back. It is black and white. It's definitely supposed to look like the Supreme logo. You can actually open it up, of course, and you can see that he is logging it to his laptop with his username as Rex McQueen and his password. I guess we'll never know what it is. <laughs> but yes, it looks like he's logging in to the Shadow High website. Of course, just like the other laptop in this line, it does have the molded in buttons 
and the trackpad, which is a very nice detail. You can also see some little icons on the right side of the screen here as well. And that is it for that. Rex also comes with a Glitterade bottle, which is definitely supposed to be a play on Gatorade. And it is the Shadow Remix flavor. It doesn't have any nutrition facts or anything on it like the, the Monster High accessories do, but it is molded really, really well. And the cap is electroplated. Of course, Rex also comes with his cell phone here. On the front, you can see that he is texting Glitch. It says, any update already? Let's do this, is what he replied. Of course, you can see the, you know, all of the different pictures there. Um, it also has a thumb hole here so he, that he can hold his phone. On the back, his case is the same as Diamante's, so it has that kind of Gucci monogram or a Shadow High monogram on the very back, and you can see that he has his four cameras here. The phone itself looks like it's just a plain black, so I was correct that all the phones are different colors, but yes, this is Rex Shadow High phone and Rex also comes with a pair of AirPods. We've actually seen these AirPods before with the original Shadow High Boy. These are actually just in black and I believe that his were in white. I honestly wish that they had given him actual earrings because honestly I'm overseeing the AirPods. Rex also comes with this necklace that is half chain and half pearl. It actually has a class right here that has an S and an H. That is a super duper nice detail that they definitely didn't have to do. What's so funny is I actually have a necklace myself that is just like this in gold. I love this little piece and I think it goes really really well with this outfit. Rex also comes with a pair of combat boots. So they do have real working laces on them. You can see the stitching all the way around that is molded. Also, the eyelets are painted silver. It, they do have a really, really big, thick tread. Now, these are also either a play on a Prada shoe or maybe a Saint Laurent boot. I could be wrong. But on the very front, it does have this molded on SH. And you can even see little screw holes on the very front. These are super duper detailed for boots and they also have that little pull tab on the back just like any real boot would. And next we'll take a look at Rex's puffer jacket. It's this black kind of long line puffer jacket. It is lined on the inside with what looks like, which looks like a, like a play on the Versace logo. So you see shadow and you can also see little chains and things. It does have a little tag right here. On the back, you can see the different stitching and kind of the puffing of the jacket. It does have four little vents on the very back, which I think is super duper interesting. And each vent has little silver studs on there just to add a little bit of a detail. It also does have a zipper on it. It isn't functional, but it does feel like a real zipper and it looks like it's actually electroplated as well. On the side here, you can see that faux Shadow High like Prada logo. So I'm assuming that this is a recreation of some type of Prada jacket. And the collar is really, really tall and also has the puff, <laughs> and also has the puffing on it as well. So as an additional layer, Rex also has a black hoodie here. On the hoodie, it says, I don't sparkle, I just have shade. It says SH Anti-Sparkle, the Shady T-Shirt Company. I feel like that is definitely a play on another designer, I just can't think of what it is. The black is plain and it does have a hood. Of course, the hood doesn't fit around his head. It's just purely for the look. But yes, this is a really, really nice plain black hoodie. Right, and next we'll take a look at Rex's jeans. I wanna leave them on his body because they're super duper interesting. So they almost reach all the way up to his chest, which is kind of wild to me. I don't know if they're intentionally high-waisted. They have to be because they kind of bunch up a lot where they meet the boot. So I'm assuming they wanted these to be high-waisted, which I have no problem with. I love a high-waisted jean myself. <laughs> but they are just plain black jeans. They do have working loops for the belt. Also, you can see a little silver stud there just to act as the button. On the back, the pockets are actually embroidered with two SHs on each side. And again, you have your working loops. And that's really it for the pants. They're actually pretty simple and they are definitely a, a baggier fit for sure. 
And next we'll take a look at Rex's screening. It's actually very simple. So it is pretty much the typical boy screening that they do. He has really thick kind of black eyebrows. You can kind of see some little hairs at the very bottom. Of course, he does have some applied lashes as well. His eyes are kind of like a golden brown, almost like a bronze color. And he does have some lips here. I feel like his nose may be a little bit wider than the other boys. I could be wrong though. I feel like Ash's screening was a little bit different. On the back, it is a 2022 mold. So this may be the exact same mold as Ash. I could be wrong though. But while we're taking a look at his screening, we can take a look at his hair. He has this kind of flocked buzz cut. Instead of a fade, you can kind of see it has the Versace logo running across the bottom. And he also has a little part right here. I love this hairstyle. I think it's definitely very cute. And a lot of people are saying that it reminds them something of Kanye West, but who knows? He does have the boy hand mold i really do wish they would change this hand mold because it does read off kind of stiff but as an added detail he does have black painted nails which is definitely a trend that's going around a lot so now that we've taken a look at rex we only have one more doll to look at and i'm sure you guys already know who it is and without further ado let's take a look at reina crown all right and for the finale we're gonna take a look at reyna glitch crown of course you can see her name here at the very top you can see her artwork here right there with the holographic line art with the black line art right behind it to give it that kind of 3d effect on the back is that big picture of reyna and rex together and of course you have your glitching around the back and everything like that and she is a fashion design focus, which, you know, interesting, <laughs> very interesting. But yes, this is what Reyna looks like inside the box. Now that we've taken a look at that, let's go ahead and get her out. She comes with this black stand that has some green and silver and bladed glitter in there. Here's the telescoping portion. Here's the waist clip. Glitch also includes a coat hanger and a pant hanger. Of course, they both say SH and shadow. And as an added bonus, as all the dolls do come with, um, she has this standard shadow high comb. It has an SH and it has the studs right on the very top here. So for her other accessories, she comes with this little makeup palette. It's the same as the other one. So it has those molded on studs, that faux Versace Medusa head, and then it also comes with a little mirror and you can see the makeup shades on the inside. Glitch also comes with the phone. The phone also has the text messages between her and Rex and it basically just reads the opposite. On the back, you can see she has this little case that is gray with some, some silver embedded glitter. And then it has the SH logo that is kind of glitched in a green and purple and blue. And you can see that she has her four cameras right there. The phone case does come off and you can see on the back that her phone is silver. So as an added bonus, one of Glitch's accessories is this microphone stand. So it is a purple microphone attached to this black and silver stand. The stand base does have some black around it with some silver spikes on it. It doesn't have a string or anything and mine doesn't fit into the base really, really well. It's actually super duper loose, but I mean, maybe that doesn't bother anybody else. But I think this is a really, really good accessory because this is kind of Glitch thing is that you know she is on the mic a lot she actually comes with these two kind of I guess you could say these are hoop earrings they have this little loop with a dangling Medusa head and then on the very outer edge it has this kind of studded design which is basically just a bigger outline of the Medusa head these earrings are electroplated and they do have a holographic shift which is really really nice and really really pretty Okay, and for her outer layer, Glitch actually comes with this black dress. It has a turtleneck for the neckline. The sleeves kind of flare out and bubble at the very wrist. And there is a little bit of sequence you can see, some silver and black holographic sequence on the very front. It does have some attached coattails that also has some more of that sequence. You can also see the word shadow embroidered throughout the coattails. They are super duper long, so they go all the way out and it's very nice and very glittery. 
Of course, everything Velcros here in the back. I really, really like this piece. I feel like it is also probably darted somewhere because it does fit her really, really well. I'm kind of upset that they didn't give us the original outfit that she came in, but I don't know. This one kind of feels a little bit more grand and a little bit more original because of course her first outfit is something that was recolored. So I'm kind of glad that they gave this to us. And for her top, she also has this turtleneck and it is this long sleeve crop top that has this glitch design on it it does continue on to the back there are some kind of screen printed on holographic stripes going throughout i think this is a really really cute piece and i do think that it would go really really well with the other items it is kind of a spandex kind of workout material so that makes it really really nice and it feels like good quality and last but not least for her outfit glitch comes with these pants that are actually attached to her boot as well so it is the exact same pattern as her top so this nice little colorful glitch pattern with these kind of screen printed on holographic stripes the boot has a tread that is just black and it's a heel it kind of reminds me of what like balenciaga does where they kind of do that full body suit look and yeah i feel like that's probably what her outfit is inspired by is a balenciaga look but yeah i think this is a really really cool really unique different piece and next let's take a look at glitch's beautiful screening she has this kind of light gray on her crease and then it kind of fades into a darker gray on her lid you can kind of see this silver eyeshadow that goes into a wing for her eyeliner of course it is a black wing and on her bottom eye you can kind of see that gray with a little bit of a white graphic liner that looks like it kind of looks like eyelashes as well her eyebrows are kind of a gray color and they are ombre her eyes are a kind of purplish blue. I feel like these are a different eye. I don't think I've ever seen this one before. For her lips, it is an ombre lip, which is surprisingly done pretty well. I feel like she has maybe the Simone sculpt because those lips kind of remind me of Simone. She does have some purple and black painted on baby hairs, and this is a 2023 mold, so that means that this is another brand new mold, and her lips are nice and glossy as well. On her cheeks, you can see a little bit of pinkish kind of purplish blush. It looks really, really pretty. I love this screening. It's definitely probably one of my favorites from the line. Next, taking a look at her hair. It is very simple and that's a problem. <laughs> her hair is a mix of black and purple and it's this really long high ponytail. It does have a little hair wrapped around the base, which is actually probably one of the nicest ones I've ever seen done. Her hair is super shiny and super glossy. It does have a little bit of product throughout, but it doesn't feel like anything too crazy. I can't wait to wash this hair and see what it looks like because I have a feeling it's going to be really, really nice and really shiny. And looking at her nails, she has the standard shadow high nails, so the little black pointy stiletto nails, and they are painted in a black, so they are definitely very pretty. All right, guys, and that is all for my very in-depth review of the Shadow High Series 2 dolls. Here are my final thoughts. I definitely love this line. I don't believe the rumors that Shadow High is going anywhere. I feel like this line has definitely been very popular, at least among the adult collectors that I've seen on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that other great stuff. I know they're saying that, you know, the kids aren't super duper drawn to this line, but I think that they're still doing pretty well. I think that the quality control on this line was actually pretty good i'm always super nervous about ordering dolls online versus trying to find them in the store but all these dolls came from amazon and they came almost perfect the only issues i would say with quality control that i have is with rex he did have a couple of marks on his face so that's just something to look out for and all of these do dolls were $24.99 except for diamante for some reason she was 33 but I think this is definitely a solid line. There, I can honestly say that there isn't a doll in this line that I don't care for. I think the hairstyles are definitely really good. And I feel like you get a lot of variety in this line versus Shadow High Series 1, of course. You didn't get that much variety. And I definitely recommend that you pick up the ones that you want. 
Tell me which ones that you guys have picked up or will pick up in the future down in the comment section below. And of course, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, put a black and white star in the comment section so that I know that you made it all the way through. And if you like doll content like I love it, we'd love to have you here as a regular. So of course, hit that subscribe button down below. And if, if you just like the video, I'll take a, a thumbs up down below as well. But that is all that I have for you guys today. I will see you guys later for the restyles on these dolls. So if you like seeing doll hair restyled, definitely stay tuned for the Shadow High Series 2 doll restyles. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!